YouTube fan. It's your boy Tony two times, and we back with another video, man. And I try to stay away from this dude, but this story caught my attention. So Takashi Six Nine went to L.A. and he took a picture in front of Nipsey's hustle mural. You know he was kneeling down with the prayer hands and all that. And a lot of people ain't know if he was trolling or he was trying to show respect. But Nipsey Pete won't take kindly to that since Takashi been. Since he came home, he basically been doing the same thing he was doing before he went in. He been trolling, making posts about people, taking pictures with giant rats, saying I'm a rat. You know, recently he went into a Harlem restaurant. Dudes weren't feeling that. They told him and his security he had to get out. But I just feel like at this point, bro, really overdoing it because it's bad enough you told on all them dudes. You got them dudes all that time. But then... You got blessed to get released, and you back out here on the streets to feed your family. They not, and you still out here playing with your life. You know, people saying that he made a post not too long ago saying, yeah, I keep a lot of security with me because I ain't going to be like your favorite rapper. Talking about Pop Smoke and Nipsey Hussle, saying ain't nobody going to be kicking me in my face and all that. And y'all know that's what happened to Nip. So a lot of people feeling highly disrespected by Takashi at this point. I know a lot of people say, if you don't talk about him here, just go away. Let me tell y'all right now, dude not going away. We in a whole new generation. Maybe back in the day in the 90s, early 2000s, he would go away. I mean, I don't report on him because at the end of the day, I be doing videos on this dude every day because he always doing something. But I feel like for what Nip stood for and the type dude Nip was, he knew that Nip wouldn't have had no love for him. You see what I'm saying? So for him to do that, I felt like that was just highly disrespectful. At the end of the day, I feel like if Shorty would have came out here and just stood up to what he did and just been humble about it and made music, he probably would have been all right. But now he putting everybody in danger, his family, his team, his security. You couldn't pay me enough money to do security for this dude because ain't nobody bulletproof at the end of the day. And if you make somebody mad enough, they're going to come for you and your team. You know he out here getting into situations. Dudes trying to get to him, but it's like they just can't get to him because he got so many people with him. But at the end of the day, it's going to be one dude that don't care about jail or none of that. And he going to get up with shorty. You know, and I mean, this ain't nothing new for Takashi. When he was home, he was taking pictures in Old Block. You know, popping up in people's neighborhoods at 4 in the morning and stuff like that. So this is what he do at this point, you know? And I mean, when he first came out, I can honestly say I want to never one of them dudes to listen to shorty music. As soon as I seen him, seen the rainbow hair and all that, I was like, oh, no, nah, I don't know what's going on. So I ain't listen to him. But a lot of people like shorty music, and they like him as an artist. You got people that still rocking with him, like Akon. Of course, Nicki Minaj just did something with him. And I just feel like at this point, bro, if you don't chill out, you know, it's going to be all bad for you. Because now you're dealing with some different type dudes. You know what I mean? L.A., you know, the love they got for Nip, that ain't nothing to play with. You know? And a lot of people like, oh, no, nah, he was just showing respect. Y'all know bro don't show no respect. That's one thing about Shorty. He disrespectful. That's what he do. Anybody he ever had words with or something like that. You know, this is like a Frankenstein story. Because at the end of the day... Shoddy and them, they created this dude. You know, they made him seem like he was really about that. Made him a blood or whatever. And it's like the creation turned around and tore up everything. He got all them dudes away from their family. And in my, you know, my point of view, I mean, they should have seen the coming. I wouldn't have did nothing with bro. And then y'all had him calling the shots. Like, bro was calling these shots. It wasn't them sending him out. He was sending them out. So, you know, it's crazy, man, you know. And like I said, I don't like reporting on Shorty, man, but some of these stories, it just be crazy because I'm like, dang, bro really don't care. Either he don't care about his life or either he know he not going to get touched. That's the only reason I can see him just out here wilding like this and doing stuff. But leave your thoughts and opinions about this. If you're new to the fam, be sure to subscribe. Hit that bell. Check out the links in the description. Love y'all, fam. I'm out.